In this video, we're going to take the Science 5 intro video and use it, modify it, to make a Physics 11 intro video. So let's start right at the beginning here. We'll open up the Science 5. and There we go. Uh, first thing I would do here is I would get the properties open. I'd get the timeline up a little bit. There's not a lot on this timeline, but a um, good place to start. Uh, first of all, we don't want Science 5 here, so if we click on that, we can see that it selected this image. The way to replace it, I mean, you could delete it and then bring the new image in, but another way is to just go over here under Properties, click on the Science 5 saying this is the file I want to replace, Import, and in our Intro Video area, We'll go under Course Banners, and let's find Physics 11. And here's Physics 11, so we'll select that. We will stretch it to cover the area there. Um, now we're done with that. We can check down below and we can also check on the timing. And so we want that to be fade out. Now the one advantage of replacing a video or an image in the way we did was that we'll take on the uh, features of the other one. So in other words, the timing and stuff like that should be the same. So just double checking that. If you were to delete it and replace it, then you have to double check your settings. So we have the new video or the new image. Another thing I'll point out is under timing, it's for the rest of the project. So this will remain as the background throughout the rest of this project. So we only have to change it in the first slide and we're good to go. And next thing we do to get this started correctly is let's go on the first slide. We'll go to audio import. And we don't want it to say welcome to science five. We want it to say welcome to physics 11. And because I was in here last, it allows me to come find it in this folder. And there we go. Welcome to physics 11. Okay, close. And we look down below and we have the audio uh, clip here and then a second or so after the audio clip, which is about right. If, if it ends up being a longer title, you may end up stretching the slide. In other words, you just grab the slide one and you can you know, extend it. That's how much time that the slide will show after the audio is done. So to give it a nice little pause afterwards, we want to make sure that we're kind of down there in the second range at least. Okay, so that's the first slide, and if we want to double check it, we can always... Welcome to Physics 11. And we always think that that little pause afterward is more than we think it'll be, and it actually works quite well to have a little bit of a pause there. So, we're done with the first slide. Second slide. So we come in here. Um, again, the background's all set. Everything's cool there. Uh, let's do the audio clip first, so let's import. Remember, the, it's only the first two audio clips that um, have to be changed for these. All the others are kind of generic. So the second one, so we're talking about this in general. So we're looking for a topic overview of physics. And here we are, so it'll be the same one for physics 11, physics 20, physics 12. So uh, topic overview, open that up. Okay, so now we have the audio for that. Now the audio for that seems to be a lot less than for the science, the general science courses, so we'll drag that back, kind of give that a second or two pause at the end, or we can always adjust it as we need. Um, so that's the audio for the second one. Um, certainly we don't have biology and earth science and stuff like that in the physics course, so let's replace some of this stuff. So we, again, we can select that. We can go in and we can go back to properties. And again, if we find the image, we can import. 
Now, this isn't under the course banners, this will be under unit banners. So if we go to unit banners and we say, let's go to science and physics 11 and 12. And let's go to the grid ones, they're a little simpler ones. And so let's just pick some generic ones and maybe we can reuse them for uh, all of the physics courses because there are a lot of overlaps in physics. So let's grab some generic looking ones. So motion, that's a good one. All right, and it's a whole lot smaller than the one we had before. So let's put that there. We can increase its size a little bit. Get it off the side there. Okay. Now the second one to move in this scenario, um, and we can find out if we suck down there, we can see that this is the second one to come in is the chemistry. So let's replace that one next. And that one we will replace with, and actually it might be a good idea just to... This physics course allows you to explore and better understand the physical world. You will explore motion, forces, electricity, and other aspects of our world. Okay, forces, motion, motion, forces, and electricity. So let's kind of do that in order so it kind of follows along with the script a little bit. So for the chemistry one, we would therefore do forces. So let's go here, import, and what do we have for forces? Um, there's one. And so again, let's increase its size a bit. Try and make it similar size to the motion one. And therefore, there we go. Now the third one is electricity, so we'll select it here. And sure enough, that's this guy up here, so let's replace that electricity so we got a nice one for electricity we'll get that a little bit bigger and then uh, the last one was kind of generic it said and other items whatever so we will just look for one that looks kind of cool in there um, so let's see uh, you know what let's let's pick uh, momentum that's got kind of a cool graphic there and we'll increase that move it over a little bit and I guess I made it a little bit big so I'll move over and shrink that down a little bit okay so let's take a look at how this slide is coming along we can drag this up a little bit to give us a little more room if we have lots of layers um, where timing's not bad okay so let's take a listen here while learning about these scientific big ideas you'll also build strengths in the core competency okay so the core competency stuff comes in pretty good we could start that a little bit earlier so let's drag these core competencies over a little bit so that just starts them a little bit earlier and so at this point we can file save make sure oh bloody I went and I saved it on top of that one I should have said file save as physics 11 All right, I may have to rectify that. And one thing you'll find out about uh, Captivate is where it remembers that you saved before can sometimes be a little bit confusing. It's not quite as intuitive as some other software packages. So intro videos, and we are saving this under uh, new intro videos. And again, we're saving this under physics 11 all right so save that so far so that's uh, slides one and two um, three what we'll do is we'll, we've got a number of pieces here so three is the one where it just kind of talks generically about lots of things that are available learning resources that are available um, 
I, for this one, because it's science five, it's got a mix of, um, it's got a mix of the biology, chemistry, physics, stuff like that. So what we can do is we can go through and we can get rid of some of the stuff in here. Uh, I'm just deleting some of the images. Um, I see this one in the top left is a physics one and the one in the bottom right is a physics one. We'll get rid of that biology one. Okay, so all we have left is, uh, so this one, why don't we make it start at the beginning? So I'll drag that over. Um, we'll do the settings all at the same time. If we drag this one down to the lower right, so now we can kind of envision that what's going to happen is it's this uh, one in the top left will come up, and then this one in the bottom right will come up next. So we'll drag this over, say it's coming in next. Now, to find a few more physics ones, what we can do is we can come here, go to the WCLN site, uh, go down and we have a game and a video so let's go back to another game if we go to physics and under games we can do a search and we're just looking for things that are kind of generic and look cool um, so here's one ballistic cart that one would look kind of neat on there so now um, Let's find one that looks a little more interesting. Mars. Again, we're kind of making it look like it's a cool thing here. So I'm going to grab Snippet and I'm going to wait for that thing to come by again. And yeah, about here I'm going to snip it. And I'll grab that. And now if I go back to, let's reduce that and get rid of the snippet. Now, if I put my red uh, button here, my timeline, or the pointer for the timeline, uh, here, then I give it a few seconds after that last one. So, Control V, and it grabs it right into the snippet. And I can, so let's put that in the lower left. All right. And now let's move up here and we should probably grab another video. So again, let's go back to uh, here. But this time we're looking for a video. So let's go to video tutorials. And again, we want physics. And we're just looking for something that will look kind of neat. Um, not an overly complicated one. In other words, we don't want one that looks like it came out of Physics 12 and scare the Physics 11 people, but something that kind of has a bit of a neat look to it that we can paste in there and get people interested in where they're going with this course. Um, so, so here's one. Here's a and again, let's just play it. In this tutorial course, object, they have eye diver. Okay, so now let's grab our snippet while it's kind of in that position. Non-contact forces can exert And we can grab a picture of a video. And we're good. Minimize, minimize. And control V. And we'll put that in the top right. Applied forces and frictional forces. And of we probably have room for one more here, so something up here will stick minutes. one more in. And uh, let's see, so we had a game, a video, a game, a uh, video. Let's see if we can find one more game that kind of looks like it would be nice in there. So we go back and we'll close that. Um, we'll head up here and you might find it easier to have two tabs open so you can just jump back to the game tab and back to the video tab and here we are uh, physics game and mini 
Okay. So back to page one. And let's see. Ah, this one's already. Um, yeah, most of these others. Let's grab this one. And we'll go again, snippet, new, and there we go. Minimize, minimize, and one more game. Control V. And we'll make it fit. And we'll put her in the middle here. Okay, so now um, we have all kinds of different settings on these various things. Uh, so let's grab them all. So I'm holding shift and selecting all of these layers here. And basically I've selected each one of those items. Uh, probably look good if we put a little bit of a shadow there. So 124012 on the shadow. So this is under properties. Uh, so that'll look fine. Under timing, we'll go for the rest of the slide. Uh, because we didn't replace those ones, it's probably easier just to clean them out and start again. Uh, we're going to say that it's going to, all of them are going to fade in and out, and two and two. Oops, two and two. There we go. Oh, one's a little bit too tight at the end. Is that what's going on? Because, um, yeah, this one. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that music in the background here. All right, that's better. Okay, so with this one, let's see, transition. Uh, okay, so the timing, fade in and out, two and two. Hmm. Don't know why that okay let's select them again we're going for rest of slide that's good fade in and out two and two okay not sure why that didn't take last time but there we go um now at this point since the uh math and science learning guides and layout are pretty much the same we're just going to leave this slide alone and then the last slide is, again, it's just using the background that we had before, so we'll just leave that one alone. So let's do a file save. And then here's something, to, when you get towards the end of your edits for any video, a good idea is to go up here to library. Um, and library basically holds on to all of the graphics and audio clips and you know things that you've brought in to uh, add to your video. Now, since we had a previously used one, there's gonna be some junk that we replaced. We deleted and removed and stuff like that. So if we select unused items, that's all the stuff that we're currently not using anymore. So we can hit delete and there we go. And so that cleans it up just so it's a smaller file, a little cleaner. Um, it will process easier, stuff like that. Now, we're ready to take a look at it, make sure we didn't screw anything up too badly. And so, easiest way to do that, like along the way, you can just use this play button at the bottom and, and kind of see that things are looking reasonable and stuff like that. But when you want to see what the final product's going to look like, um, this isn't a bad way to go. So, if we go to project, Welcome to Physics 11. This physics course allows you to explore and better understand the physical world. You will explore motion, forces, electricity, and other aspects of our world. While learning about these scientific big ideas, you'll also build strengths in the core competencies. Within this set of online resources, okay, so the delay after that was pretty good. That That's all good. The opportunity to build a strong understanding of the topics covered. To prepare, you should, after finishing this video to the end, read the Yeah, a couple of those look like they came in a little too fast. We'll have to check the transition, make sure it's Once still two to seconds. With the course content, head into the first unit. All right, and that part we know is going to be good because we didn't change anything, whatever. 
And okay, so the only thing that when I watched that I'm a little less than thrilled about is some of the items didn't seem to transition quite as nicely. So let's go back to timing. Yeah, there's something funny about why it's okay, fade in and out two and two. All right, fade in and out two and two, fade. Hmm, didn't like me doing them all at once for some reason. Um, okay, so it was just two of them that were messed up, so I'm going to save again. Okay, so double checking and making sure that I'm happy with the way this video looks. Um, at this point, I'm ready to uh, publish, so file. Uh, first of all, make sure we do the last save, because if it's going to crash, it's going to crash during publishing, or it's processing a lot. So um, make sure we save first. Publish. Okay, so now we're making a video, so let's go to video. Project title, uh, let's change that to physics underscore 11. Uh, it's going into the new videos. Uh, again, double check this. Uh, your first time doing it, you're going to have to specify exactly where it's going and stuff like that. Um, once you kind of get moving, it'll remember. Um, we are looking for YouTube widescreen HD. Uh, all of the defaults in this video should be good. You can double check, um, you know, audio should be 128. Uh, the graphical stuff is at the highest level and I had already set that in the, de in the template, so that should be good. And once we're happy that we have everything set up, we just publish. And now you sit back and wait for five minutes until it's published and um, once you have it published, it, you'll find a new MP4 uh, file uh, that's ready to upload to uh, YouTube. And so I think I'll stop there for this part of it.